Mastering homophones, unlocking their spellings and meanings. Hello there, English language learners. Today, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of homophones. Those tricky pairs of words that sound the same but have different spellings and meanings. We'll particularly focus on how you can remember their correct usage, which is absolutely vital to effective communication in English. So, let's get started. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different spellings and meanings. Some common examples are pair and pair or right and right. Sometimes, it can be challenging to remember which spelling goes with which meaning, but don't worry, we've got some effective strategies for you. One useful method for remembering homophones is by creating visual images that link the word's spelling to its meaning. For example, think of pair as two objects grouped together, like a pair of shoes. On the other hand, you could picture a pear as the juicy fruit. This method can help to embed the spelling and meaning of the word into your memory. Another strategy involves the use of mnemonics, which are simple memory aids that you can use to help remember the correct spelling and usage of homophones. For instance, remember the homophone pair, night, and night. You could create a mnemonic like, the night comes out at night. The K in night can remind you that this refers to the medieval warrior, and night without a K refers to the time of day. Next up is practice through writing. The old saying, practice makes perfect, rings true here. Try to use new homophones you learn in your own writing. By doing so, you can reinforce your memory and understanding of these words. The more you practice, the more natural their usage will become. The final strategy we'll discuss today is learning homophones in context. Reading widely and paying attention to how words are used in different contexts can be very useful. When you see how a word is used within a sentence, it becomes much easier to understand its meaning and remember its correct spelling. That's a wrap on our journey into the world of homophones today. Remember, mastering homophones can significantly enhance your English language skills. Don't be discouraged if it seems tricky at first. With our strategies of creating visual images, using mnemonics, practice through writing, and learning in context, you'll be on your way to becoming a homophone pro in no time. Keep practicing, and until next time, happy learning!